in order to plot uh, implied volatility ranges and bands uh, you have to first go uh, to the CME site for example and then uh, get their uh, vol to vol tool and here it is for uh, ES options so not that uh, big volume but those ranges are uh, pretty much the same as on uh, SPX. You can also use uh, Think or Swim and here I, I really like those uh, ranges that are uh, projected from here. Mm, they are quite accurate so I am mostly relying on them. Uh, so for example for nearest expiration which is tomorrow we have uh, more or less 41 points and from CME here here those uh, values aren't updated uh, until uh, US session starts but uh, on the CME site you can uh, get quite uh, up-to-date values so you can choose expirations for uh, current contract is uh, that that one for Wednesday is going to be the first one from this uh, bar tab mm, and you can see it's 44 and a half you can also check weeklies so here is uh, monthly OPEX is also the, the f nearest weekly it's uh, 67 points and for end of month as of now it's going to be 110 points y you can also uh, gauge on puts and calls but given it's uh, ES options the, those volumes aren't that big so I won't put that much attention to mm, ES options, m I'd much rather look at SPX options uh, in order to see uh, where is the biggest uh, volume, biggest open interest and stuff. So uh, I get all those numbers from Thinkorswim and then I look at 4 p.m. Friday close and after the close I get those all of those mo most important values. The, the Basically, the one and only that is uh, that important is f Friday, is expiration. So here, I I do plot all of them because I am day trading. So I'd like to see how the session develops. So, for example, on Monday when we started the session, we mm, did break lower. I I didn't uh, I didn't move it but we did bre break even uh, second standard deviation so uh, we did reach uh, to, to the Wednesday's lower boundary and later in the overnight we did reach uh, this was OPEX expiration and as session started uh, we did reach like to the tick uh, the second standard deviation and then uh, Wednesday did reach second standard deviation of uh, Wednesday's expiration from the op uh, counting from the open and in the overnight we did break third one and got back uh, and basically held within here is uh, Friday's expiration that was calculated based on uh, Thursday's open so we did almost reach the uh, one standard deviation up and then on Friday we did get inside uh, the weekly band and we did break first uh, standard deviation and almost got to the second one and this week we also got reaction from Monday's lows uh, 
not that exact but like half a point or so so pretty accurate they, they might be useful in uh, day trading or in positional trading if if you can uh, gauge the positioning going into uh, the next session or two uh, well previous week was uh, well contained like every session and that within uh, ranges only the Fridays got above first standard deviation but barely we did uh, end up like one point above first standard deviation but within uh, weekly uh, projection from uh, previous uh, close so this is this is the main thing I, I look at and recently I started looking at this is, uh, those are the same uh, values I plot I do plot them manually uh, so if you see those clustering uh, regions for example here for example those three uh, we did break through and that uh, ended up with follow through basically to the higher boundary of the weekly uh, projection so maybe this is telling that if we break those uh, those bands we might see some further uh, movement to the upside uh, next here we, we start seeing clustering of the monthly OPEX values for two weeks and we did bounce uh, from it and to the upside well here was weekly so I'm not sure if this was that relevant but indeed we, we get a really decent reaction and now I would be very curious to see those ranges but here uh, since it is monthly OPEX it might be not that uh, significant because uh, at this point those should expire maybe I, I should uh, color code them differently because here was OPEX and now we have new mm, expiration period uh, so you, you can also do something similar but using uh, some proprietary tools I cannot share details about this but it is looking uh, somewhat similar uh, when you have uh, clustering areas uh, for mm, those bands they seem to be quite reactive so yeah this is pretty much it you can use either the vault to vault tool from CME or uh, SPX uh, option chain and you can use those values uh, 